Welcome back everybody, Dave the Gamer here. Today I wanted to make you another gold farm guide. I tested this one a while back, uh, didn't have that much success, but I think now that I actually have the set bonus from the Netherwind, basically increasing the explosion, it helps a little bit when I'm doing big AoE pulls on the Desert Rumblers, and what you're after is the Elemental Earths. So Elemental Earth is still in high demand. It makes a lot of great potions, um, restoration potion, greater nature potions. There's there's gonna be need for it. Uh, so with the prices still staying stable, and I have a high feeling that you're going to still need this in the TBC, being that you were, are going to need restoration potions, um, this is a great place to farm. Where I'm talking about, I'm talking about Silithus. So up in this corner, there is times that you will run into people. I did this for a couple hours and I really didn't see anybody. Uh, my server is like medium to high population. Uh, so it's not maxed out like some servers might be. But I haven't, you know, I didn't really have much competition, not much PvP. And what I like is now that they added some Black Lotus spawn locations, after I, you know, clear out, I'll show you. I do like a patch over here, patch here, patch up top, and then over here. So I do about five or six pulls to clear the whole place. And then I go around and check the Black Lotus spots while I wait for them to respawn. During this time, I'll show you when I get to the loot part. Uh, I've, I've got some interesting things. Now, if you look at my farm log, this is the last hour, 295 gold over that hour. I'll show you why, but it happens all too often. If I'm here for an hour, there's a high chance you're getting a black load, especially if there's not much competition up here. So obviously you can go to the badlands and farm for elemental earth there. The problem is, is you, like, you don't get high level greens and you don't have a chance at a black lotus. So having those two things is epic. Uh, there's the chance to make so much more gold an hour. This one's already 100 gold plus an hour. And then you get one black lotus, now it's 200 gold over that hour. So I think, you know, I might have had good luck on this last hour. But over the course of like five, six hours, I've always averaged about 100 to 105 gold an hour pretty much every single time. It, like I said, it really depends on what greens you get and things of that sort. Your luck on how many elemental earths drop. And then uh, the, the other source of good income from here comes from solid stone. So let me show you what my loot is. But before, I just want to give a huge shout out to my first patron. He signed up as a gold tier. And if you're not familiar with, I just started my patron. It actually gets you early access to all my videos. So right now, I think I have eight or nine videos that I'll slowly release one a week. So you might not see some of my videos for two months that I have filmed already where he's going to get access to all of them. So he's going to get a, a head start on all of the gold farms, things to invest in. So it's definitely a nice little perk if you're you know, one of my top supporters. I greatly appreciate him so much. I'm going to throw his name up fucking massive on the screen because I fucking love him. Thank you so much for being my supporter. But let's look at the loot. So the loot. My favorite uh, add-on, notepad, because I get to break shit down. So where I said like uh, your solid stone, I would hang on to this. I mean, if you could sell it for fucking, you know, 75 silver, a gold a piece, yeah, probably sell it. But I would hang on to this for TBC as you're going to see a lot of people start re-leveling on alts and different things. I have a high suspicion that all kinds of different stone are going to go up in price for anybody looking to re-level blacksmithing, engineering, and the other different professions. But during my last hour, I actually got two black lotus. I got one up here, and then I got one over in this other spot. So I got super lucky, but like, like I said, I'm constantly clearing, checking the spots, clearing, checking the spots. And then also, um, if every time what sucks is, see how there's two little dots up here? One spot's a black lotus, the other spot's a mountain silver sage. So every time I see a spot, I'm like, oh shit, black lotus. I get so geeked and ah uh, yeah, it's mountain silver sage. But hey, fucking still gold a piece, I'll take it. But yes, over the hour, I got seven gold and just raw vendor lifeless stone shit. 
Um, I got 27 uh, gold and greens. So a couple cloaks, a weapon, and I, I got a traveler's backpack. Like I said, that's where like you might not get a backpack and it might be a little bit less, but you might get more greens. So it varies. But if you do this over multiple hours, you'll start to see an average. I got 32 gold in elemental earth. So I was factoring four gold a piece on those. Eight, I got eight of them. And then I got 32 or 38 gold in solid stone factoring at 40 silver a piece. So like I said, I think these are going to go up even further in TBC. So I'm actually going to hang on to them. But all in all, that's 104 gold an hour at this place. And that's, that's fucking awesome. Um, I, I'm a big fan with anything over 100 gold an hour. Like what I personally do... I get super bored very quick, so I'll spend an hour or I'll spend like three, four hours here. Then I'll do three, four hours at another gold farm that's 100 gold plus. Now, uh, see, look at that. There's the only time I ever see anybody. Oh, I actually know that person. Is he in my guild? Um, that the only time I actually see anybody here is they're che uh, checking black lotuses. So, what I typically do is I always shield up. So as a mage, I think this is actually easier on my warlock. I'll wand a couple. And I never I never pull less than like two or three at a time. So if you do this right, you sh really shouldn't take no damage. Now I used to actually um, blizzard these, but I don't find it to be worth it. I See, with the tier set, I can just keep distance, arcane, explosion them. I mean, I've never actually died here. Boom. So, super easy gold farm. You get a ton of different uh, good stuff. Like I said, elemental herbs are awesome. Uh, the solid stone is great. And that's what, exactly what I'd be doing. I'd be pulling four or five at a time. And then uh, when, I, when it's dead, I'll come over here just to check this Black Lotus spot. Boom, nope, go back. So I got that whole section there. I'd come up here, take this whole section up here. Come over here, take this whole section. So what's that, three so far? You should be another pull right here. These four, that's fourth. And then these ones, that's five. So you're able to get five total um, pulls to be able to pull the entire thing. And you're going to find, like I said, a bunch of mountain silver sage. That's an extra four or five gold that I didn't even factor into the other spot. So, I mean, I find this to be an excellent gold farm overall. Let me know your thoughts on that. And thank you again for my Patreon supporter. Check the description below if you also want to get the big perks and the special access on the Discord to all of my early access videos. But as always, guys, game on.